Sylvester Mubiru does not want any of his children to ever be a teacher. He has been at it for over 20 years and has seen more pain than gain. Because of the pain and the, the, the painful environment that we undergo, I wouldn't like my child to experience it. Mubiru is 45 years old. He has a wife and five children, the eldest of whom is expected to begin university this year. Mubiru loves his profession, not because it has been rewarding, but because he has the passion for it and the fact that his family has a history of the teaching profession. He has somehow managed to educate all his children on his very basic salary. 300,000 on average, but you buy the food, you educate the children. Like myself, I've got two children in secondary school, I cannot afford, we live on loans. Like everyone else, teachers have bills to pay. They have medical and utility bills, rent, school fees, meals, and all the unexpected things that come up. But they have to find a way of catering for all these with 300,000 shillings a month. For many teachers, every shilling counts if they are to ably take care of their families. And when they fail to do that in this profession, many of them resort to other jobs that might seem petty, but they bring in more money at the end of the day. So you go out and rent somewhere to can produce some food for the family. Then you also do some other business which is not so viable. As the economic, the capital is little, you cannot invest. They have resorted to border border riding. They go to serve as porters in big buildings around Kampala. At least if someone can earn something like 500 thousand, there you can do the job willingly. Their problems go deeper than the salaries. Many cannot afford proper housing. The lucky few have permission from the school to occupy one room to live in with their families to cut on the expense of rent. For Mubiru, when the children are back from holidays, one mattress is placed on the floor so that the room is shared by everyone. Labor unions are not having it easy, getting the attention of the government to help teachers. Do you hear top government officials coming out and giving statements of intimidation? The public schools where they work are in poor conditions and the parents are not helping much. They believe the government takes care of everything and so they rarely support the schools. We request government to put in place a policy that allows parents to work with the schools to see that they develop their schools because education cannot be handled by government alone. Sylvester Mubiru, who earns 300,000 shillings a month, is a P6 and P7 English teacher at this school that has over 600 pupils. His story is not unique. Other teachers are just like him, some slightly better off and many even worse off than he is. And yet, he is the man that will educate your child. Josephine Karunji Musisi, NTV.